Hello my gorgeous angels and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another vlog. Happy Friday gang. I booked the day off work because your gal has finally got some wardrobes. So if we see this situation going on in the background here. So all these clothes were in the back bedroom on these rails. And obviously I've been in my house now for seven months, something like that. And I thought it's about time this gal gets herself some wardrobes because that, for me, is just not doing it anymore. So I've ordered some wardrobes from Ikea, which uh, me and my dad went and picked up this morning from Leeds because they didn't have one nearer to me. So that was a cute little road trip this morning. It's now Friday afternoon. Um, ideally, I did want to get these wardrobes up this afternoon, but really, practically, I don't, I don't know whether it's going to happen. I mean, me and my dad getting these wardrobes upstairs was an absolute... Oh my god, oh, I've never used so much strength in all my life and yet it was not easy, it was not an easy task and I was sweating like you would not believe and I didn't want to take my dad's day up because he's got other things to be doing. So yeah, so at the minute I'm not really sure how I'm going to get them up, I was going to attempt it myself, I, I may or may not go to my mum's and just borrow her drill. Well, would that be a good idea? Probably not. So we'll just see. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure what this vlog's going to be about. I've not really got any plans this weekend, which I kind of like because I, I love having no plans because I am so boring. Just, I love not being restricted to like times and stuff. You know, you could just like do whatever you want. But then on the other side of that, there's like no routine. So I did only get my lazy ass out of bed at 10 to 8 this morning, which is quite the lion for myself. I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately, and maybe it's just because it's just who I am now. Just loves a lion. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a home update. I did film a video last weekend of me cleaning my house. It wouldn't have been a long one, and I haven't yet edited it because I wanted to get the wrong vlog up, and then I've been doing coursework, and I've just been really, really busy. Um, so I haven't managed to edit that yet, but it won't take me that long because it's not going to be a very long video. But anyway, I'm not sure whether it'll even go up or not. We'll see. Anyway, I wanted to give you a little bit of, an, bit of an update. Obviously, this room is now an absolute pigsty. Obviously, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes. I am going to go through my clothes, and I'm using this as an opportunity now to go through my clothes um, and sell them on Depop. So I haven't got a Depop account yet, but I'll get one and I, I, I'll link it down below. Hopefully I've got some hidden treasures in there, let's hope. Because like, honestly, I've got all them clothes there and I literally wear like a small section of them. The majority of the clothes that I wear fit in drawers. So not quite sure why that is necessary. Shoes as well, I literally wear the same shoes all the time. So again, not sure why all these shoes are necessary. It's just not. So I'm going to get some big boxes from B&M, um, like storage boxes, to put shoes in. The shoes that I don't want to get rid of, but shoes that I don't t technically wear all the time, because there's just no point in them being that I've got nowhere to put them, basically. Anyway, obviously, as you can see, I've got my uh, wardrobe doors there. Another little couple of pieces of the wardrobe there. And then, this is obviously my back bedroom, which is where the wardrobes are going to be going, um, against this wall here. So the idea is, um, wardrobes against this wall, thinking, depending on how much space I've got, uh, I'd love to have my big mirror in here, um, and maybe even like a, a desk. Uh, and then I've got a circle mirror, which I had at my mum's, if you ever remember that, um, which ha I've not put it up anywhere yet, because... I've had nowhere to put it. So a desk here would be nice to do my makeup and obviously the, the mirror. I have this as sort of like a getting ready room, dressing room type situation. I don't know. So, but yeah, so getting these wardrobes up should be fun, but I am not going to attempt it. Should I attempt it? I'll have a little think. I am still a little bit pooped from getting them upstairs. I mean, please imagine, please imagine these boxes which are so heavy three of them yeah three thank you coming up these stairs thank you very much it was a struggle it was a struggle my dad is not one for youtube so my dad would not have appreciated me getting the vlogging camera out and seeing dad can i film us coming upstairs with these boxes but i'm not sure what this vlog's going to entail but hopefully you know like the nights out that are not planned or are always the best? Well hopefully that'll happen with this vlog. Not planned anything, so hopefully it's one of the better ones. 
Have you seen my Rome vlog? Did you enjoy it? Please let me know, let me know. Right, do you know what? I, I absolutely hate this. I hate... I hate straps on short. It's not classy, it's not cute. However, I cannot wear this top without a brassiere because nipples to the wind, nipples on shore. Can't happen, I'm sorry about that. Oh my God. I placed the biggest order on Sheen. Sheen, Sheen. Right, I always used to call it Sheen because this website has been going for donkeys and all of a sudden, like, it's become really, really popular. Uh, I think I may or may not have placed an order on there years ago. Um, I can't really remember like what it's like, what the quality's like or whatever. But all of a sudden like everyone's, everyone's buying from Sheen. So anyway, over the past few days, uh, I've been like looking on and like you'll see one dress. Oh, that's nice. Add to bag. The next thing it brings up a shitload more dresses or whatever. And you're like, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Before you know it, it's like 20 items in your shopping cart. But... The prices are ridiculous. Like, Primark are dearer than Sheen. So, um, because I'm going on holiday in July, which I'm really looking forward to, I've ordered some bikinis, some nice dresses. So when that order comes, you better believe you are going to get a huge haul. Now, I did promise you a pretty little thing haul a good few weeks ago, but when the stuff come, I was not blown away. I'm not impressed with pretty little thing at the minute. I have got a pair of jeans. They're like wide leg jeans. I wore them in Rome to, to travel to Rome in. Really love them. Everything else I ordered, I just sent back. So I tried to film this haul and then I was like, what on earth? Was not impressed. Sorry, pretty little thing about that. Yeah, so hopefully this stuff from Sheen, I'm going to do a very honest review. Like, listen, I don't get paid for shit. I pay for it myself. So it will be very, very honest. So if the stuff's good, you'll know about it. And if it's bad, you will also know about that too. So it's now quarter past one. Oh, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna go and see my mum. Um, I need to go and do a little bit of a food shop. I fancy spag ball for tea. But yeah, that's more or less it. Not really got much, much more to update you on. So don't call this number anymore. She said You know, earlier when I was like, oh my god, yeah, I've got no plans, and I'm like buzzing about that. Well, I've been rather bored this afternoon, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I went and saw my mum earlier, we had a little brew, and then I came home, put the telly on, sat down, and I was like, what now? I can't start them wardrobes on my own. I just know it'll end in disaster. It's not going to happen. So... Uh, I've just been shopping for something for tea because the fridge is absolutely bare. Normally I only ever do my shopping on a Sunday. That's like my ritual, my routine. It, that's when it happens. I've just been to the Aldi nearest to me and I... Oh, right, do you have your favourite Aldi? Because I do. And that, for one, is not my favourite Aldi. But it's only around the corner and it's like prime time for like work traffic. So I was like, just nip to that one. They had no strawberries. Uh, they had barely any yogurts. Oh my god, what an absolute! They had no baskets, so I had to walk around putting stuff in my bag. And I thought, I bet people think I'm on the rob, like blatantly. So yeah, so that was a thing. I just thought I'd quickly show you what I got for my for, for tea. I'm um, just waiting for my love to come home now from work, and then I'm not really sure what we're gonna go up to tonight. But I'm sure he's been working extra hard, so we're just gonna have a chilled one. You know, nothing too crazy. So just a mini food shop haul for this weekend. Obviously, I'll do my big shop on, on Sunday as per normal, but I just got some bits in just for this weekend. Normally, I would get strawberries and raspberries uh, to have with protein yogurt. They only had raspberries, so that's just what we're dealing with right now. Got a bolognese sauce. I'm hoping it's nice. I got two packets of salmon fillets. I got some broccoli to have with the bolognese because I always like to have something green on my plate. I know that might be like a bit of a weird combination, but I always like to have something green on my plate, otherwise my plate does not feel complete. Spaghetti, because I don't actually have any of that in because I've never had it before in this house. Spag ball is not something that I usually have. It's not, like to me, that's a bit of a treat meal just because I find it quite a heavy meal. So why it's Friday, you know, push the boat out, huns. Welcome to my life. Got this lean 5% lean beef steak mince to have obviously with the spag ball some bagels and then to go with the bagels either ham um or chicken and then we usually like soft cheese and ham on a bagel very nice little snack and then again very very naughty um garlic bread baguette 
Um, and then also some cheese for on top of the spag bol. I've been craving, right, so like, whenever I've had garlic bread recently, no, it's not something I have every often, but whenever I've had it, it's been like the round garlic bread that you have, like it's like, that's not babes, that's not garlic bread to me. Garlic bread to me is the baguette. The crispy baguette with the, mmm, oh, I'm so excited. So yeah, so, so that's, so that's, the, that's where we're up to. I really need to clean my car. Like, how many times do I say that in my vlogs? But it needs doing. So I'm going to do that at some point over this weekend. I need to nip to Trafford Centre because I've got a dress to take back. Honestly, I got this dress um, from Zara. Normally, I don't shop in the shops. I'm an online shopper. A few weeks ago, we nipped to the Trafford Centre because we were going to a wedding and uh, Baby Boy needed some last minute bits. You know, very, very last minute. Uh, half nine on a Friday night. The wedding was on a Saturday. But anyway, we moved. And we, we nipped in Zara and I saw this dress and I was like, I was like, oh, that dress is so stunning. And baby boy was like, that's a bit of you, that. That's a bit of you, that, babes. I thought it'd be lovely for Rome. It'd be lovely when we go away in July. Um, stunning, right? It's like a midi length, um, like a very fine knit dress, a little bit of crochet. Stunning, right? It looked gorgeous on the hanger. Well, I didn't even try it on. I just took it to Rome because to me it was a sure thing. I thought it was going to be absolutely sensational. And I put it on and I was like... Luckily, I left the label on it and I've still got the receipt, but I think I'm like just within my 30 days of returning. I think, oh, today might be the last day. That's an issue. Maybe they'll give me a refund, like a, a credit thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I've got my receipt and the label's still on it, so you better believe I'm taking it back. I was gutted because it was it looked like it was going to be so, so, so stunning, but it just wasn't meant to be. I need to do that over the weekend at some point. It's the Trafford Centre. That could be dangerous. Let's just put the blinkers on, not look at anything else. Just take the dress back, get in the car and come home. We wanted to go for a walk at some point this weekend and what else? I really want to get the wardrobes up. But I don't want to trouble anyone, you know? Just a glass of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Come in and took his pants straight off. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Hunt. Finished result. Bon appetit. Would you like to watch I've already started tucking into mine. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm trying to get freeze frame of me coming in it and like not in here and then me walking in with. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair looks nice. Thank you. I did it myself. <laughs> what were you dad? No, I've carried it up on my own. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. And there. You've not lifted them up here. I did, I put it on my shoulder. Aye, Andy B's helped you with that. No. Current situation, we have two shelves. Number one. And number two. It is now 2am. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm joking, it's about half nine. And we've still got one little more to go. One little one. Do you think we'll finish it tonight? Or do you want to do the doors tomorrow? Yeah, probably doors and that tomorrow. We'll just get yeah, to yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, so we're going to finish the shelves tonight. Just get the back on this wardrobe here. You can't really see what's going on because it's everything's white, but yeah, not not an easy task. Is it, babes? Yeah, uh, yeah, a piece of this. Why are you cocky <laughs> now for the vlog? <laughs> to me. I've been stood on this little steppy stool here. Doing the biggest job of holding up the the ceiling because luckily because we read the instructions We found out that you had to build them standing up because of how close they are to the wall to the ceiling rather Yeah, you can't uh, spin it can you? No, so if we'd have continued to make it on the floor, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have got it up Standing up straight so so yeah We've had we've had a disaster an absolute disaster so we finished the two shells, the two big ones. Um, after this, we are just gonna pack up and go home because we're gonna continue this tomorrow. However, if you can see the front of this wardrobe is like kind of flush white there. This one, we kind of set back a little bit. Now, in my opinion, it'll be absolutely fine. What are you looking for, babes? That screwdriver there, please, babe. Which one? The, flat, the red one, please. This one? Yeah. I said, just leave it. No chance. <laughs> Mr. Perfectionist over here will not have that. So that's what we're attempting to do now. 
You're doing very well there. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> I've done it. You've done it? Yeah. I thought we were going to have to take the whole thing apart. No. Buzzing. Good morning, my angels, and welcome. No, that's the beginning of the video. <laughs> Good morning, my loves. Happy. I look like a pee. Um, happy Saturday. So the house is in complete chaos at the moment. We've got half a wardrobe up. Well, just the shelves, the actual frames. The doors are going on today, but baby boy is at work this morning, so I'm just getting some little jobs done around the house, you know, being that good little housewife. Getting some washing done and just generally tidying up as much as I possibly can. I love, I love it when it's like really, really nice outside and you can just open all the windows and just let, let earth flow through the house. It's just so exhilarating. I love it so much. I'm gonna pick Charlie Brown up this morning from his mum's munchkin. The plan for today is to obviously get tidied up now, get a little bit organized um, and get the remainder of these wardrobes up. Ideally, we did want to get them finished last night, but it was getting like 10 o'clock, half 10 and we was making a lot of noise and besides that I just wanted to like sit down and just chill for a little bit so uh, we just called it a day and um, so we're gonna finish them the wardrobes today and then we need to nip to traffic center I've got that dress to take back Um I want to clean the inside of my car I already mentioned that I've still not done it and yeah just generally have like a bit of a organizing day my favorite kind good afternoon my loves since we last spoke, I've washed my hair and that's about it. I've had a bit of a clean and tidy up as best as I can. I've got a hell of a lot of cardboard going on right there now. My blue bin's full as a drawer. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on my back garden because the last you saw of my back garden, it was just grass. It was just, just Charlie's just scratching himself. <laughs> Oh, all right. The last time you saw my garden, it was just grass. There was nothing going on. Um, and when when we went to Rome, um, unbeknownst to me, my mum was here over that weekend doing my garden for me. And um, I had, I can't say that I had no idea. I had a bit of an inkling um, that she was going to do something with my garden. Cause I did say to her, that's your baby, that. Because she loves, my mum's proper green fingered. She loves it. She loves the garden. She doesn't have like a massive back garden where she lives. So... I know my mum would always love a massive back garden and yeah she so she worked her fingers to the bone whilst we were away and um she's had the back section of it flagged she's done the borders i will show you in a minute but she's done an amazing job of it it looks absolutely sensational and i really really appreciate it she had some help from her good friend pat I know Pat watches these videos, so thank you so much. Baby boy had some input into it as well. I literally appreciate everything, like, you do not understand. Like, I was in floods of tears when I saw it. Mind blown. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so I'll insert some footage of what it looked like prior. It's like my own little paradise. As you can see, she's done all the borders around the, around the sides. <laughs> um, and then this is the patio at the top. With my little egg chair and my little rattan furniture and it looks absolutely stunning. it so so much i'm so happy with it there in the morning um is where we get a lot of the sun like first thing in the morning so imagine 8 a.m just sat out there with a little coffee sat at a little table so cute so i'm gonna do that as well but yeah i'm so so happy with it what are you doing look at this what are you roasting it's lovely though isn't it One. It's looking good though. <laughs> Aww. I'm going to have to undo this one a little bit. It's not undoing. Turn that little ratchet thing the other way. Hold the screwdriver. There you go, try it now. 
Looking good though, baby. I've done well, haven't I? You yeah. have, yeah. Good morning, my angels. Happy Sunday. We're just on our way to uh, Turton and Entwistle Reservoir, which you have been with me there before, because it's one of my favourites. Absolutely love a little walk around there. Did think it was going to be sunshine this morning, but grey skies. Love that for us. I thought it was going to be nice today. I said today and yesterday it was yeah. nice. Um, so we've just been and got ourselves a little cost of fortune. Yeah, so we're going to have a little walkie poos this morning and then we need to nip to Wildy for a little food shop. We also need to get to the gym because for two days now we've dodged it, haven't we? With one thing and another. We have been very busy. The wardrobes are now complete. Um, so I'll show you them when I get back. Um, we also still need to nip to Trafford Centre. I've mentioned that like three or four times in the vlog now. I've still not been. What else do we want to do? I feel like I've just got loads to do today. Oh, you're going for something to eat with the boys? Yeah, going for a little brew with your mum. Oh, going for a little brew with my mum. So I've just got a fun-filled <laughs> fun filled Sunday, if I'm honest. If you have a boyfriend that consumes more protein than is necessary, you will understand the smell that leaves his body. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. It doesn't even make a noise though. All I get is like, the window opens and this smell hits me like a ton of bricks. And it absolutely stinks. You love it? No, I don't. I don't. Welcome to my glamorous life. Why am I always the one that holds the dog shit? Oh my boys. Charlie B. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful day for it. <laughs> Took a change, on it? <laughs> Stop looking at me like I've been in. We've been and got these little protein puddings from Aldi because we love the protein yogurts, don't we, babe? We do, yeah. And these are like new, like a new little one. They've got higher sugar in them uh, than the actual yogurts have, uh, but there's still 20 grams of protein. They have caramel, chocolate, and there was a vanilla one as well. So me and my love thought we'd try them. So we're going to do that now. I'm just... Rooney's <laughs> washing away. <laughs> Hi, I'm baby boy and welcome to my crib. <laughs> Smell that. Wait, don't try it yet. Oh, imagine half and half. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Like a chocolate caramel twist. Cheers. Cheers. Is that alright then? Oh, yeah, have a try of my one then. <laughs> oh. You can tell there's more sugars in it though. Yeah. That's what you I was expecting it to be like rice pudding. Yeah. Because it said pudding. Whoa! <laughs> it's thick, aren't it? It's like, there is a roll or. Yeah, that's the yogurt. Yogurt. It's yeah. like a roll or yogurt when you mix the two. <laughs> you just had to get my face in there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. We have just had a chicken bagel as well. <clears throat> Which vlog is it where you're eating a yogurt in your car and every time you go to put the spoon to your mouth, you, you've edited it and then the spoon's back out and there's no food. So you can't see you eating the yogurt. It was a very old vlog. <laughs> it was like, it was, I think it was one about like gym confidence. Yeah, and you're sat in a car park eating yeah. yogurt, and every time the spoon comes up to your mouth, it disappears the food on it, and you can't see you eating it. And the Huns to wear a cap to the gym. Yeah, that was it. And you say, you know, if you don't, you're not used to a normal gym, just go in, do ten minutes on the treadmill, have a look around, see where things are. From a male perspective, how do you have confidence in the gym? Or you're not really bothered? Are you? I've never really been bothered, but when I was younger. I just used to watch other people in the gym and see what they were doing. Did you? Yeah. And then do that, their sort of exercises. And then just through time, obviously, picking up and going and doing things. But I always trained with someone when I was younger. 
rather than just going on, on my own because I think that'd be a lot harder on it, surely. Mm. I don't like training on my own. I used to have the confidence to train on my own and that I've lost, lost that. I know, I don't know why that is though. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a new gym that you're at and stuff, but you shouldn't be bothered at all. A bit shy. Don't I? Yeah, but you shouldn't. It's not as if you don't know what you're doing. So what, what's the reason then? I think it's more of a motivation thing. You've not got much motivation. You've got a holiday coming up. I know. And so yeah. I should be more motivated than ever. We need to get on that, don't we? We do. It's good to know that, I, you know, like other people do lose confidence and, and yeah. motivation in the gym. So you're not the only one. Of course. Oh, you're talking to yourself there? Or? I was talking to the Huns. Oh, we're talking to the Huns. So they know that if they have lost motivation, they're not the only ones. Ah, right. Yeah. I also need to know that you can't be like that. You've got to just get up and go and do it. What happens is when you don't want to do something, or when you're thinking of doing something, there's probably a hundred thoughts and a hundred reasons why you shouldn't go and do it, like, oh, I'm tired, or I've not got time, or I've not eaten, or I've not drank much water today, or whatever. But before all them thoughts come into your head, if you just go right and going, you've just, you've just beaten it already. I think that's a, like a mental, like, <clears throat> a good mental thing to just, mm -hmm. just do it. For some people it's harder, for some people it's easier. Do you want to finish that? How do you feel about, so, we're just, what are we at? Oh, can I just roll out of bed? <laughs> Is that what I look like? So we just had our little pre-workout meal. We just had our little chicken bagel with a little, one of them little things there. And now we're going to go off to the gym. And how do you feel about that? Are you excited? Yeah, I want to do a good leg session. Why do you not want to go? Yeah. Come on, man. No. We've got this. When you're in there, you'll feel different. I know it. As soon as we start doing it. You'll feel 10 times better. And then once you've done it, you'll feel even better once we've been. And you'll be like, why was I thinking not to go to the gym? Uh, the longer you don't go, the more you don't want to go. Yeah. We have changed our gym. I have mentioned that to the honeys before. And I, I'm not thrilled with it, am yeah. I? Do we know why you're not 100% happy with it? So, I have this thing where, um, it's not even I have this thing, so they manipulate the mirrors, right? They do it in changing rooms, in shops, and they also do it in the gym. So, lighting and mirrors make you look a certain way, so it makes you look like you don't necessarily look like that. Um, but the mirrors in this, in this new gym that we're at um, are manipulated in a way to make you look a little bit bigger. So lads, like my love here, like my baby boy, will go in and train and when they're watching themselves train they look a lot bigger than they are but consequently then so do the girls so i was in there the other day <laughs> i had a bit of a meltdown to the point where i was like i can't even look in that mirror because i look like a, a beefcake well you don't look like that you know that yeah that's how i felt though i didn't feel yeah. great i didn't feel great do you want me to have a word with the owner and see if we can change the mirrors in the gym? Well, yeah, would you? And turn the lights down as well. The lights are so bright. It's just not necessary. If it's not busy in there, we'll take the vlog in. Not bad mirrors for everyone, it's just bad mirrors for me. And my, right. my, my um, self-esteem. Need to get some good mirrors, don't they? They need to get some good mirrors. And the music. I mean, imagine if he ever watches this. Not that he would, but it is what you make it, make of it. The reason we're going to that one is because it's a lot closer to my house. Like, we were traveling 25 minutes to King's Gym, which is the original one that we was going to. Uh, whereas this one's like, what, five minutes away? It's not even five minutes away from my house. So it just saves a lot of time, a lot of fuel. Um, hence the reason we're going to that one. Let's go. Let's go. Booyah. <laughs> <laughs>
smashed it. High five. Big success. <laughs> We're doing split squats at the end there, but we didn't get that on camera. Did not need to see that on the vlog. <sighs> I'll be honest, prior to that session, I was not feeling that. I didn't want to do it. No. Nope. But now I feel excited to come again tomorrow. That's all it takes. So this is your sign. If you are feeling a little bit unmotivated, if you've not been to the gym for a little while, maybe that's a couple of days to you, or maybe it's weeks or whatever, get yourself in there. And it's like what we were saying before about when you have like, the longer you have off work sick, the harder it is to go in because you get the anxiety and all that. But as soon as you go in, everything's fine and you think, what the, f what the F was I worried about? And that's how I feel now. That's oh, yeah. it, and I can tell you a big smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I feel a lot better now. It's not necessarily all about how you look in the gym, it's about how you feel and how it, it makes you feel. Absolutely. I always think that, like, you know, obviously you go to the gym for the physical aspect of it if you need to lose a little bit of weight or, um, you know, if you want to tone up or you want to grow your booty or whatever the case may be like it's not just purely about that it's obviously you're releasing endorphins it's just how much better you feel after you've been you don't have to just go and do like weights you could go and do classes and on that side of things you've got the social aspect of it as well like once i've completed my pt course like that's what i want to go into obviously i think one-to-one's great pt and but i think i feel like i would excel more in um like hosting classes like boot camps and stuff like that like i love all that sort of thing yeah, just because of the, the the goodness you feel from it like you get a lot back from that as well with everybody bouncing everybody on good vibes yeah and everyone feels great at the end of it so many dis different aspects to training like what what baby boy does and what i do i mean we had this bit of a discussion the other day because I was sort of stuck in a little bit of a rut when it comes to like what am I training for what is it that I want to achieve from coming to the gym like I've kind of just been like doing what you do haven't I and I was like I don't need an hour's worth of biceps and hours worth of shoulders because that's not what I want to achieve like so but I'm just sort of stuck in this rut of not really sure what what I want what it is that I want like I know that I want to like grow my legs and grow my bum but I'm not really doing the right things to achieve that so I'm in my own little training journey now in like sort of finding my f so what I've decided to do is like any leg sessions like what we've done today and stuff do them together because obviously I feel more motivated when I'm with baby boy obviously do you feel more motivated when you're with me or yeah, is it just push, the same we push each other don't we yeah we do push each other you get ideas you bounce off like ideas from each other but i'm gonna swap and change so like in instead of do, like training upper training arms and things like that because i it's, sort of well just too too big now your muscles are just too big aren't you <laughs> i want to start upping my cardio a little bit more again not just for the physical aspect of it but just to, just to feel better i feel i feel like i've accomplished something more when i'm doing cardio so like for example doing sprints on the treadmill or the stairmaster anything that makes me sweat i feel like i've accomplished more than if i go and do an hour worth of biceps and not not even break a sweat you feel fitter i feel yeah fitter that's the word i was looking for like physical like like respiratory what's yeah, what what, what am i getting at uh, after a run when you've run your lungs open up you feel like you're breathing in more you feel like you're taking in more oxygen yeah you just feel feel better in yourself yeah. after it with an hour weight training how i train it's slightly different you don't yeah. you don't get that aspect of it like he doesn't want to sweat from his sessions because he doesn't want to lose weight I'm not saying that i want to lose like a lot of weight because i don't I just want to i just want to i just want to feel yeah a little bit more toned to feel generally better in myself physically fitter and that comes with doing more cardio cardio more yeah. aerobic exercises yeah i don't want to have big arms and big shoulders like i like a toned i like a toned arm i like a toned back what i was doing by following him <laughs> what he does i'm then obviously getting getting the gains like like him i mean we're just someday Kind of on par there, aren't we, babes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that, maybe. Is it me? Way, yeah. <laughs> I don't sweat. Yeah, I do. I know. I always tell the vlog that. You're sweaty, Betty, in bed, aren't you? <laughs> huh? It means when I'm sleeping. Nothing else. Thank you. You're red hot. So yeah. So in terms of my training, I'm trying to. Sw I'm just like. When I was saying before, like, I've lost a little bit of motivation. I've lost like any track 
of like what I'm doing. I've never tracked my calories and I really don't plan on doing because I feel like it consumes your life and my I haven't got the main hobby of, of going to the gym like YouTube's my main hobby so I feel like YouTube takes a lot of my time up and I feel like if you're calorie counting and tracking things that, that can take a lot of mental space yeah and for me that's not not what I'm trying to I, I just want to out of a lot of things whenever you're doing that calorie yeah counting. but I think I feel like it takes a lot of the fun out of it unless you're training for like um an event like a like a bikini competition. What do they call them? Yeah, like what, what, them like Show. stage, stage competitions, whatever they're called. Unless you're training for something like that, like for me, I just, it, it just consumes your life and I, I'm not, I'm not about that. I just want to eat healthy, feel healthier, and just live a, just a generally healthy lifestyle, not watch the beating not diet as such i just want to be healthy and what are you what are your goals and be happy and be happy that's yeah that's, another that's one. all we need isn't it yeah what are your goals when it comes to your fitness i'm gonna try and put a little bit of weight on now i think i've lost my abs slightly he's not lost his abs he goes on about how he's lost his abs uh, your abs are always there i've lost them a bit but yeah a little bit a little bit of size a little bit of muscle and then maybe try and define a bit of definition after that yeah. We'll see how it goes. But your main things are just eat healthy, get your steps in. If it's not something that you do a lot of, eat healthy, drink plenty of water. Water is key. I always, like, whenever I voice note Jade... <laughs> I, well, tell everybody to drink water and you don't drink as much yourself. I do. Not as much recently. No, I fell off that bandwagon as well. But I always, I always end my voice note to Jade with... Um, drink plenty of water, <laughs> eat plenty of good food. I say that to her every day. Everything in moderation, guys. That's it. Yeah? Yeah, man. Okay, I'm into that. What was you going to do then? Nothing. Was you going to high-five me? I was, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my loves. So I thought I would end this week's vlog by showing you my new wardrobe room. Walking wardrobe or whatever you want to call it. Obviously, the wardrobes are now complete, so I'm absolutely buzzing with them. So here we are. Just like we need a little cheeky little uh, lampshade on there but it looks so much better i'm absolutely over the moon with it because i really was not a fan of this room i put this mirror here for now it's a little bit needs a bit of a clean but it's also oh, stunning yeah because the idea is to have this as like my room where i maybe take pictures or do haul videos but yeah so i think i'm gonna have this as sort of a room for getting ready in as opposed to the front bedroom maybe we take this mirror out of here and have like a desk in here for getting ready i don't i really really don't know so i'm gonna get all my clothes obviously into my wardrobe at some point because there's nothing in there right now but i'll just show you what set out i went for just keep it nice and simple we've got a shelf at the top for storage whether that be for maybe things that i don't you know like winter clothes that i'm not wearing at the minute things like that or shoes and stuff um i've got a rail here and a rail here then we have the middle one where again we have a shelf at the top, then just one rail. Um, this is a slimmer wardrobe um, for like longer things, dresses and things like that. Um, and then that comes with these two baskets at the bottom. This one is exactly the same as the other one. Oh, we have got a little t-shirt in there, cute. Baby boy just slowly but surely getting his clothes in there. I bought these hangers off Amazon. They're a little bit cheap feeling, I'm not gonna lie. But they'll do the job because I I've, all my hangers are just like the white, standard white ones. I haven't got any like with the clips on, so I needed them. And then also, the IKEA handles that I wanted, they didn't have them in stock anywhere, and you couldn't even order them online. So I ended up getting these handles off Amazon. And I must admit, when when we put them on yesterday, I wasn't I wasn't really a hundred percent on the colour of them. I feel like they look a little bit cheap. Uh, but let me know what you think because maybe they don't. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Initially, I was going for black. But then I thought I'd go for a little bit of something different. Just something different in this room because I haven't got any gold in the house at all. I mean, I could, if I hated them that much, I could always take them off, spray paint them, and then pop them back on. But we'll just see. But yeah, let me know what you think. I love them. I love them so much. I'm buzzing. I cannot wait to get my clothes in. I can't wait to go through my clothes and sell things that are just, that are just taking up room that I really, really don't need. So it's been a fun-filled weekend, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. My love, my baby boy, has gone out for some food with his friends. I'm gonna have a shower, 
prep some dinner for tomorrow for work. Um, it's a three day week next week, buzzing. I really, really hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if there's anything you wanna see from me in the future, then please leave a comment down below and let me know. I hope that you and your families are all keeping safe and well and happy. Go into this next week, smashing them goals and working towards them dreams. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye. Mwah.